and sisters, I hope everyone's doing well around the globe every single day. Remember, have faith in God always and know that God is within all of us. As you think, so shall it be. My job as a reproductive endocrinologist, as a fertility specialist, is help people conceive healthy babies. And it is not an easy process. I own and run CNY Fertility Centers, which I've been doing for, gosh, 30 years almost. And I've never felt more blessed to be part of such an amazing team of people. I'm always studying and learning and digging deep into what is the truth of why we're so infertile today. Both men and women are seeing declining in their sperm and egg qualities, their numbers, endometriosis, PCOS, uterine fibroids, adenomyosis, sperm dysfunction, absent sperm, it's not working. The most common problem we're seeing is idiopathic infertility, which means we're idiots, I think, and we don't know why. That's kind of the craziness. But I've been looking up this idea that maybe glycation and the high consumption of a plant-based diet is actually the cause of our problems, along with three to six meals a day. And the question came, can fasting, not eating, and I say prolonged fasting for three to five days or longer, might actually help you be fertile. And the biggest question is why are we all getting so fat as if fat is bad? And I look at the animal, the animal kingdom, as we call it, where many animals actually get fat and hibernate, gestate, migrate, or simply don't go anywhere. They find a cave or an underground spot, either alone or with others, and they don't eat. They slow their metabolism down, and many of them gestate, meaning that they grow baby, whatever they are, in utero. And how is it we tell everyone that fasting is bad and eating carbs is good and eating only meat is bad? And I'm always looking around on the internet for ideas. And I was looking at this idea of nature and, and hibernating and snakes and bears and so many animals get fat storage to increase. And then they go on long jaunts around the globe uh, where they don't eat or drink for long periods of time. And I'm so amazed how other organisms do it. And how is it that we seem to think that it's bad for us? Well, there is science and evidence out there that one, we know that plant sugars glycate and cause damage to our ovaries, testicles, sperm and eggs, and other reproductive organs. And if you haven't looked up goitrogenic foods lately, I highly recommend it. And I always go back to my good friend, uh, Noah Whiteman's book, uh, Most Delicious Poisons. And somehow we've been duped to believe that eating a plant-based diet is good for us. And I thought so too, because I suffered for so many years on a plant-based diet diet until I went carnivore and, and I stopped eating for days and even have gone as long as a week without food and I've never felt better. When you don't eat for long periods of time, it's usually a time for nesting or hibernation, but migration, you could go long distances without food because we're built to get fat, which is the only fuel for the cells of your body. And it removes the actual toxins that are in plants. And my bet is if, you know, everyone's like, oh my God, I can't afford fertility care. Have you ever tried to go a week, two or three without food? You've convinced yourself you can't, but my bet is fasting, not eating for days to a week might actually reduce the inflammation in and around your ovaries, your testicles, your thyroid gland, your brain, the rest of your body. And suddenly the mitochondria or the spindle um, uh, mechanisms of the egg and are, are free to do what they're meant to do because you stopped poisoning yourself on basically a deadly, deadly diet. And I know, wait a minute, 
carbs are really important. Well, actually, carbohydrates are critical, but they come in meat. And the animal meat you eat has no toxins unless you kind of left it out there for weeks and weeks and weeks and grind it up, my friends. And I just eat fatty red meat and you go for the rarest rost is the very best thing. And is there science that, that sugars are bad? You better know it is, but how many people actually die from a high meat sugar diet? Meaning there are glycans in meat, by the way, every cell of every organism contains a sugar. Sugars are critical for glycosylation. And again, the microbes and the plants, they don't want to be eaten either. You're just living in a world of uh, dictators that want to dictate to you smart, healthy eating. Last I looked, healthcare costs are on the rise and most people can't afford it. It's a leading reason that people are going bankrupt these days. And so, yes. I'm telling you, fasting and fat are the best thing. Eat fatty meat, one meal a day. Go to three to five days without food. And is it good for you? You better believe it is. And when you're like, oh, my God, I can't fast because it's this time of my cycle. or What? Does that make any sense? We likely went thousands and thousands of years without eating for a week, two or three. And we get fat fast. And being fat, my friends, is the very best thing for fasting, for hibernation, for migration, for nesting, and all those wars and diseases that they've inflicted on you and I. And who are they? They're us. So you want to take over the world? You should look at uh, fasting and eating fatty meat. And, and you're looking for the simple science? It's easy. You're a lion, not a pig, cow, or sheep. And Yes, lions too can go days without food. And uh, you and I just lied to. That's all it is. You know, let's see. Elephants can go seven days without food. Cats, months, maybe longer. Lions, 12 days. Frogs, 16 months. You can go longer than you know, but you have to change the mindset first. And at Kilt's Health, my job is to share Right now, it's all for free to get in there and listen and learn together. Join Kilt's Mighty Tribe for free. Join a meetup and connect with the carnivores in the world. And the science is simple. You're a lion, not a sheep. And fasting, oh my God, fertility lasting. You want to save some money on all that fertility care? Don't eat for a week. And when they tell you, oh, it's dangerous, you can't do it. Bullshit. Sorry. I know. You think I'm crazy. I don't disagree, but I'm betting a billion dollars that fasting and eating fatty meat and plants and fruits and vegetables and seeds and nuts are deadly for us. I didn't believe it either, but I'm seeing so many people on this journey of carnivore. Keto's good, by the way. Man, listen, a vegan, vegetarian, Mediterranean can all do a keto diet and you can all fast. Problem is when you eat a high plant-based diet, you become addicted. I don't like that word, but basically if I put you in an addictive environment, you're going to do it because I would do it because when the fruits were ripe at the time of year and the grasses were grained up, you better eat as much as you can to get fat so you could survive the winter, the hibernation, the migration, and the gestation. Do you think science really has your back or does it have your buck and they want your money in their pockets? That's all it is. Go to work every day. Enjoy the day of faith in God and, uh, you know, join Kilt's Mighty Tribe and maybe go one to three days without food. I do one meal a day at night. It's the very best thing you could do. Fasting is lasting. And uh, what blood draw do you need? None. Have a good day.